Hey everyone, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor here. This week, I'm gonna teach you about cortisol and its effects on your sleep. But before I do, I wanted to let you all know that I have a new book coming out. It's called Energize, how to go from dragging ass to kicking it in 30 days. I've created a personalized movement program to go along with your chronotype and an intermittent fasting schedule as well. When you're done with this, you're gonna have energy all day long and sleep great. Please do me a favor, Pre-order the book by clicking the link below. I know you're gonna love it. Remember, cortisol is a stimulating, alerting hormone. It's the body's primary stress hormone. That's the role that cortisol gets its most attention for. Urged on by a complex network that incorporates elements of the central nervous system and the adrenal system, cortisol drives the body's fight or flight response in the presence of a threat or a stressor. But remember, cortisol does more than spur on this fight or flight idea. This hormone has a number of other functions, including regulating blood pressure, balancing blood sugar, influencing inflammation, regulating energy levels, contributing to cardiac system function, and helping you to control your sleep-wake cycle. Cortisol gets a pretty bad rap these days, and there's no question that chronically elevated cortisol contributes to sleep disruption as well as other health problems. But it's important to be clear, cortisol is an essential component of human physiology. The challenge for many of us is to keep cortisol levels from getting too high. When cortisol is elevated too frequently and over long periods of time, it can cause a number of health problems. These could include chronic illnesses like high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, weight gain, fatigue, brain fog, compromises to your immune system, mood disorders, including depression and anxiety, as well as sleep problems. Remember that cortisol is more than a stress hormone. It also plays a major role in regulating sleep and other important physiological functions, all from within a network known as the HPA axis. Like nearly all hormones in the human body, cortisol has a daily 24-hour rhythm. For most biotypes, cortisol levels are at their highest in the morning, usually around 9 a.m. From that point on, cortisol makes a gradual decline throughout the day, reaching its lowest levels around midnight. The activity of the HPA axis, which produces cortisol, reduces to its lowest levels in the evenings right around your bedtime. In this way, cortisol plays a critical role in the sleep-wake cycle, stimulating wakefulness in the morning and continuing to support alertness throughout your day, while gradually dropping to allow the body's own internal sleep drive and other hormones, including adenosine and melatonin, to rise and help bring about sleep. This evening low, morning high daily cortisol rhythm is true for most chronotypes, lions, bears, as well as wolves. If you don't know your chronotype yet, take my quiz at www.chronoquiz.com. Chronic stress is a major contributor to elevated cortisol and an ongoing state of arousal that's exhausting, anxiety producing, and quite honestly, sleep depriving. As I've said, elevated cortisol also contributes to compromised immune system, chronic inflammation, weight gain, and eventually to chronic disease. Poor sleep itself also can increase cortisol production and dysfunction activity along the HPA axis. Research shows that cortisol can be elevated by things like poor quality sleep, lack of sufficient sleep, inconsistent, inconsistent sleep schedules, including rotating shift schedules like what shift workers do. Here's how you can improve your cortisol levels naturally. First of all, practice regular light to moderate exercise. Next, try to manage your stress by being mindful of your breath and practicing breathing exercises. Also, consider supplements like L-theanine and magnesium. Do me a favor, don't stress about cortisol. Just take steps to manage it. Sleep helps keep stress in check and cortisol levels healthy. Thanks again for your time. And once again, I have a new book coming out called Energize. Pre-order your copy by clicking the link below. Until next time, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.